Good day guys, welcome to Mark Trim Tanks. Let's uh, start this week. I do believe this might, is it week seven? I think it's week seven. If I'm not, it's, uh, if I'm not correct, then it, I'll cut this part out. But I think it's week seven. So what we have to do this week is um, I want to fix my air system in here more than it what is because it's currently mega noisy in here because I have three pumps running, two of them running in at the same air system. We touched on this a little bit last week where it wasn't the optimal setup. So I knew that with this in mind that I was going to actually get another air pump right and I did, I remembered that my friend Roman from Facebook, um, I remembered that he had one for sale so I bought one right, so I bought it from him, this is a bigger one, I think it's a Mido Nikoi 120 or something like that, so we'll, we're going to unbox this just now, I almost forgot the coffee there, well you know what else guys, let's uh, have a little check of two other things, hmm, well we're here, Let's see, has there been any development with our walnut plant? And yeah, there hasn't yet, but still very early days. I thought we would have seen a sprout coming at the top. It's going to stay in the shrimp room until next year. And then we'll plant it early in the spring. What was our other seeds? Let me just go over here and I'm going to grab our watercress because we did a couple of different things last week with plants where we planted some things up. And, oh, they've actually sprouted. Shock horror, you can probably just make this out on camera that they have actually sprouted. So we'll let these grow to a decent size and then we'll rinse them off. I would, would have been hoping for a bit more than this. Hopefully it's just a little bit of a delayed reaction with them. And uh, yeah, we might actually try and put them in their own bucket to begin with, the watercress, because all you do with these guys is you let the watercress grow, you trim it because this will just keep on growing. You trim it then you can put it into water so what I plan to do is anytime I do a water change in one of my Neo Caradina tanks as an example I'll use that water we'll put our cuttings in it and I plan to actually just gently aerate it so it's not stagnant or anything like that and we just harvest the watercress and we try feeding it to our shrimp yeah but let's uh, let's get on with let's get on with this unboxing more coffee first Mm. I'll place you there. By the way guys, it's a horrible rainy day here in Norway. It's like 10 degrees outside. Which is bizarre. Last week it was 30 degree weather. I'm looking for my knife. What do I do? Knife is here. Let's see. Can you see me over there? Let me just uh, turn you a little bit. And we'll zoom in. Just a little bit. Yeah, I know boxing, unboxing videos are not everyone's favourite, but this is a... Uh, Decent size pump. It does have, actually have my details, shipping details and stuff and everything on here. But you guys all know where I live. Anyway, you all know my address and my email and nothing's hidden in Norway at all. Well, this is so well packed. Alright, so I didn't actually have to pay any tax on this. I paid, I paid uh, Ramon uh, 2,000 kroners for this. Maybe it was a three, I can't remember, two or three thousand kroners. I'm just going to try and get all this packaging off the top first because I have to cut through this to get to the top of the box. And I didn't actually have to pay any tax, so I'm not sure that was correct of the tax people. I might still get a tax bill for it. But let me see, did it not say here, value 100 euros? Maybe, maybe they thought I didn't have to pay tax on something so low. I don't know how he's done this. Ramon, your, your packaging. Oh yeah, it's a box that's like crosses across itself in four. That's what it is. Alright, so let's get this unboxed. Hopefully there was no notes there that I've just ripped up and <laughs> thrown down to the side. So, I am aware that this is going to be a much, much bigger pump than my other pumps. Size-wise. I think it's like 10 kilos, look at this packaging. Look at that. He's actually cut up his own mattress from his home to make sure this doesn't get bounced around in the box. Raymond, I'll use this for one of my pillows. <laughs> That's an inside joke in case you were wondering what that was. No guys, not in that way, no. And so there's a lot of this in here. I can see the nozzle, <laughs> the nozzle on this thing is huge, Raymond, I don't know how I'm actually going to connect this to my system, it's that big, 
Well, this pump is massive. It is massive, guys. I'm going to lift up and I'm going to show you. This is 120 liter. Eight. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I, I don't think I can put this. I don't think I can put this, guys. Look at the size of it compared to my body. My head is seven kilos, right? So you can see the, the weight of this is huge. Yeah, so thank you for that, Raymond. We'll uh, get something sorted out for this. You see what I mean, guys, with this, the actual size of the outlet? It's much bigger than mine's on there. Hmm. I'm wondering, I might actually have to go to the store and get something for this, or... You know, I did actually have some old hose pipe that was extra big, as to like the bigger 20mm stuff. That might fit this. It will look kind of janky. I think I might actually go to the store and buy something for this. Maybe because I'll need to buy some actual connectors as well, right? But yeah, this is way, 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 way heavy. I think we'll actually have to put this on the floor, right? So you can see here, Mido Blower. I think that was the former name, but it's Nito Koki, Koki or something now. All right, so thank you for that, Raymond. Oh, that's huge. Raymond, it is a monster. Alright guys, I'll be back in a second with an update on the plan. Alright guys, I am back. Let's uh, check out what I got at the store. So, I couldn't find my preferred stuff. It's the stuff that's like, um, has strengthening stuff through it. So I got this corrugated uh, draining hose, which will do. Uh, because this isn't going to be used for fluid, it's going to be used just for air. And I got this stuff here. You see? So this is quite long. I think it's like 10 meters probably, something like that. And I'm not actually going to cut all this up and make it to size because I think eventually, guys, I'm going to redo this whole air system as it is. And I might not even have the pump in the same room, right? Because I have an idea to put the pump in another room, just drill a little hole through the, through the wall, pass this through or whatever. We'll see because we might even do a bigger air system in the future where we have an air system in here and an air system through in the other room because eventually I will get other shrimp tanks for through there and we'll be able to power it all off the same pump. Alright, so I'm not going to cut this up, I'm not going to like uh, waste it. Alright, so this was, I think this was about $30, you can see what it's like, it's like this corrugated stuff here but it is smooth on the inside. Right, and I think it's 25 mil. so what is that, is that one inch? Dammer or something like that. And I haven't tested this yet, but, but please, please let it be the right size because you know, getting stuff here in Norway some, can sometimes be a real pain in the buttocks. So let me reel some of this off. Might have to cut this. Let me reel some of this off and we'll see if this thing will fit right. So what I'm probably going to do today is I'll put the pump on the floor underneath the open early tank. We'll have this coming up the side like this and going straight into the vent system. We're going to use some stainless steel hose clamps as well that are here and that'll be it. Let's, uh, let's just see if this actually all fits together. Please, please fit together. Please. Alright, so you can see here the big pump. It's massive. I actually didn't think it was going to be this size, so... Let's see, will it fit first time? Yeah, I want to put this in the ground because it's so heavy. Oh, look at that. It's actually going on first time without me doing anything right. So this is going to seem a little bit gross, but what I like to do is lick my finger. Let's put on the clamp first. Let's do all of this at once. I like to lubricate the joint <laughs> with some saliva. So we're going to put one on here and then we'll put one on the other side up there. With a bit of luck it'll be the same as well. So this goes onto the hose. Like this. Just over the hose like that and we can forget about it for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to use some saliva. I'm just going to moisten it right up guys. Because some of the things I say on my channel sounds so bad, doesn't it? I suppose you could use washing up liquid or something like that but yeah, you want to get this tight in there. Go on. Go on, you wee bastard. So, I'm going to try 
and get this on as far as I can. You guys probably can't see a thing, right? So I'm going to twist it on. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> right, it's probably more than enough on as it is. And they're looking good, right? So I'll go away and I'm going to get the bit for this. It's like a little screwdriver or something like that. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, I've changed the position just a little bit. I'm going to use one of these tools here instead of a screwdriver because I find that these, this type of thing, does a better job. Will this fit straight on? No. Let's see, so we need to put an adapter on here. I think. And then we have to choose the right part for this. What size is that? Too big. Next one down. It's not too big. Normally I'm good at guessing this stuff first time, but still too big. Can't be that small, surely. Now one second guys, something's not adding up with the the way that I'm doing things here. Something is not see these two are exactly the same, which is odd. It shouldn't be the same, so it means it probably means that one is missing, and this has been replaced by something else. Does it not fit that really? Yeah, because there's just like a big jump in size. One second, we could probably just use a screwdriver if we have to, or I'll try and find the other bit for it. One second. Hi right, guys, I actually can't find the bit for it, so we're just going to use the screwdriver. After all, and when you're doing this stuff, when you're tightening up a cable clamp onto plastic like this, you have to make sure that you don't tighten up too much. So th this is probably already on tight enough as it is. This is just to give it that little bit extra tightness, right? And I'm going to go up the way a wee bit here. Now using using those little sockets is far better than trying to do it with this. And it doesn't take long before you can't move this at all. Let me just actually straighten up. A wee bit at least. Like this, and that's probably enough already. Without me going gung-ho, because if you go gung-ho gung -ho with this, you'll actually break the plastic. Once the plastic is broken, good luck trying to get it to stay on. Alright, let's uh, move this over here. Alright, shrimp lids, let me quickly show you where our pump's going, our pump's going over here. The reason I'm putting it on this side is because the plug for it is right above it up here. Which means I will now be able to unplug this plug here and a new space will become available on the socket. Right, so let's uh, take this one down. Let's just do that right now. Take it down. Everything will stop in here apart from one pump in the corner. I have three pumps in this room which is uh, really, really, really not ideal. But this big pump there will replace all of these pumps in this room, right? So let's pull this off here. And this one will now go into storage. Having extra pumps is a, just a really good idea in general. I have extra diaphragms for these as well. So they never, you never actually have issues with them. So I have at least two or three backup pumps. Now, not as powerful as the newer one. But yeah, they will be good to go. Right. So the only thing I was worried about here was this bit here and not fitting. See, I'm not even sure, guys. Let me just check. Can you even see up that high? Can you see? You can. Right, so there's a, I think it's a half inch connector here. This one here. And we need to see if our hose that we have on the ground here will actually fit it right and I, and I want to do it in a way that it's not going to look an absolute mess underneath here so let me see how do we do this I think I need to find the end and then try and thread it up and then tidy the cabling up a little bit it'll make sense guys when you see it so it's to go under here you see it alright so it's from the insides right so this is the part that needs to go up there I think I'll just probably lay this on the floor right here right now and we'll work from it like this 
and then uh, we'll see how we can actually get it to go up here. So I need it to be able to fit up here first time. Now this cable is very thick. This hose. <coughs> like this. You see what I mean about how long the cable is? And you're going to be able to see it, that is the thing. Now what did I do with that clamp? Because a, a good idea would be to put this clamp on sooner rather than later so it's there and we might actually have to we might actually have to take that shelf down in fact i'm saying we'll have, might have to i know we will i'm just going to take the, tighten this up enough guys so it doesn't actually slip all the way down underneath because i can always move this again See, is that going to be enough? Just to stop it slipping all the way down. That's enough, right? So, this is our half inch connector. And this needs to be able to go in here. Oh, it's really big. Hmm. It is really big. I'm saying half inch. That's not half inch. That's like three quarter inch. Now, how can we fix that? How can we fix this? Because, let me pick you up and show you, look. How can we fix it? Because it is simply too narrow for the pipe. Here you see, it's too narrow. Mm. Oh, you know what we could do? You know what we can do? Guys, I actually wonder if, if uh, I can just place you on top of the tank here and you can look up there for a minute. If you can see up there. Let me actually, guys, I've stopped the camera. I was saying that I'll stop the camera and come right back here, but I think what we'll do here is we actually have some rubber flanges that came off the old one. Now, what did I do with them? These things, I wonder if this will fit inside our pipe. Oh, it's very tight. Hmm. Because this might be able to fit over there and then this might be able to fit over there. Guys, let me figure this out and we'll be back in a second. Alright guys, let's try this. So I've got the rubber flange off the old one here as you can see let's put this on here because it came off of there lovely jubbly now this is probably going to be a tight fit so let's do the saliva trick again totally disgusting this probably would be better um, a little bit washing up liquid and let's see if we can push this on here somehow it's so hot, hard. Oh, there you go. <laughs> totally better if the shelf wasn't in the way though. Yeah, let's remove the shelf. Alright guys, let's uh, take off the shelf now. I've actually lost the little extender part in here, so hopefully this is just going to be a simple case of... Well, that one's actually just turning. This one wasn't in very well. Do this one. That was a very long screw. God damn it, my my wording sometimes. Let's uh, try and get this hose one more now that we actually have something to grab a hold of. Right, so this is a problem bit here. Is I'm struggling to push this bit up over there. You see it? Let's try some washing up liquid. Remember, guys, none of this is actually going into the water in the tank just a little bit just a little bit to help lubricate the joint make it a little that tiny bit easier for us to push this thing on it's a little bit washed up liquid like this and hopefully this will make it that wee bit easier for us to push this pipe on come on there you go. God, that went on so easy. <laughs> it went on so easy once we did it right. Right, so this is another issue. It's on the wrong way. Let's turn you around. We'll slacken this off. And uh, we'll put it on this side. And make sure this is all the way up.
we'll stick this on about halfway up. Now that was my fault when I was at the shop for not paying attention to the size of this little connecting part here. I've got an inch connector, 25mm, then this would, we wouldn't have actually had to do all this. It's no big deal, is it guys? It's no big deal. This is stuff that you you got to learn to do with stuff in the shrimp room. And so that's never coming off there. Doesn't look too pretty, but it's never coming off. I don't think. Alright, I'm going to fix the other pump. Guys, let me just turn you around a second. We have another pump up there you can probably hear. It's making a hell of a racket. I'm actually going to unplug it and disable the connections, put them in properly. We'll get this tidied up and then we'll put the power onto the big pump. <laughs> okay guys, we are nearly there. I've simply to put the plug in and all these tanks will come alive again. You can see there's a big space up here where I've tidied up my other pumps and stuff. We have one pump in the entire room and we're about to switch on. I'm a little bit nervous that it doesn't work properly or something like that because yeah, I don't want to have to put all the old pumps back on, but I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident that's going to work right so let's see. Let's put the pump in. I'll be able to tell straight away if there's a big difference in noise and whatever else. Let's see. Oh Jesus! It's like mega strong! <laughs> oh my god, guys! I can't believe how strong it is. Let me show you. We'll have a look. My god, the noise in here from the bubbles. I didn't think it was going to be this strong. What's going on here? What? Look at the, look at the floor. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is clearly something that I'm going to have to adjust a little bit. I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit. I can see one pump that I've not plugged in, but it's the OP tank, so that's not so bad. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is loads of flow. Look how much bubbles are coming up with that thing. This is what I've been wanting for a while. Just tons of flow. Look at this thing splashing away. Oh, but this one's like, just maybe a wee bit too much. But, um, yeah, guys, I think, uh, I'll adjust these and then we'll get on to our next job which is going to be a bit of an awkward one I think but we have a tank to move upstairs and guys I want to put a TV onto that wall so I can watch you guys as well as when you're watching me watching me watching you I'm not going to say it let's do that hello guys welcome back it is approximately three or four days after my last little clip on uh, yeah, I've had the quite eventful week, so but we're back in the shrimp room now. Let's have our coffee. What is this? This is uh, spinach. This is what we're going to feed the shrimp today. By the way, if you think I'm looking a little bit whiter, it's because I've increased the exposure on this camera. Maybe it's too high. I'll see what I can do with uh, some color correction later. But guys, let me know what you think of the quality because the issue with the shrimp room right, is there's so many lights in here. The camera wants to adjust everything down, so I'm having to adjust everything up. So this might look like it's a little bit too uh, bright, but I need you guys to be able to see everything else, right? So this is something we'll have to play with. Let me know in the comment section below. And guys, let's test this other thing as well. Smash that like button. Let me see it glow. Let me see it glow. By the way, right, so let's get into our coffee. Hmm. It's very noisy in here today. It's very noisy. I actually thought I had another leak look. Let me just point you down here, you can see past all my cabling and stuff. Where is it? Here, look. This. So I came in here yesterday. Water was in the base of the tank and all over the floor and I was like, no, please. Please, no more leaks in the tanks. And guys, you know what it's been? My last two leak events right have been because of us having more air in the tanks and some of these filters the air comes out the filter and goes straight to the top of the surface and just splashes like this right and when you put lots and lots of air through a system 
right, that wasn't like this before, the, the splashing tends to be bigger, right, so the bursting bubbles are bigger and all this stuff, and it's thrown like water and moisture all over the place, right, so on the last two tanks what's happened is uh, the moisture's been thrown up and it's actually hitting the airline, right, underneath the airline going out of the tank, right, so it's like, it's a very, very small, slow leak type of a deal, but um, over time you could probably lose a lot of water, yeah, and I was actually, like, it looked like I was destroying the shelf a little bit down there yesterday, so I'm glad that that's all that was. So keep that in mind guys, that when you get new air systems and stuff, you need to check all your filters that they're not splashing to the outsides, oh my god. I'm talking for minutes about splashing. Hmm. A lot of my tanks are a little bit on the low side, so I'm, I'm actually topping them up as well as we speak. You can see here, this scarf is just a wee bit bigger than I would like. So we're topping, up, ta ta topping them up as we go along. Yeah, we're going to feed our shrimp some spinach today. This is organic spinach. I like to, when I find organic spinach, or if I manage to grow it myself, which is, is very, very rare nowadays, um, I like to freeze it in big, big bags. And then uh, you put boiling hot water into it like this and you microwave it on full power for, for one minute stir, one minute stir and then I like to just leave it for a couple of minutes and yeah you could probably see here it likes to all sink to the bottom so we'll feed that to the shrimp today as well. Um, I think guys, I think it is very noisy in here right so I'm, I'm going to try switching that pump off just to see if it helps. One second, it's very noisy in the shrimp room today. And it's not the pump. Yeah, it's not the pump. Well, that's what a difference. So that's what I have to do from now on. Is just unplug the pump. The only other thing that's on in this room is the washing machine, but I don't think it's near spinning, so you might hear that as well in the background. What a difference. What a difference. Right, so let's uh, get our food into the tanks. And we'll see how they are. See how the shrimp are this week. They all seem mega, mega active. Uh, guys, I'm going to tell you everything as well when I see stuff. Um, I see lots and lots of babies. I did see one dead shrimp this morning when I came in here in this tank here. But when you have tanks absolutely burst, bursting full of shrimplets like I do, like this one, this is probably the tank that has the most shrimp in it in my room. Uh, when you see the odd dead shrimp in a tank like this, and it's basically a shell because the other shrimp have eaten it to bits, it's just probably died through natural causes. It was an adult as well, probably died through natural causes because yeah, they're not immortal shrimp, so you're going to see dead ones as well. Yeah, let's uh, stop blathering and get our food into the tanks. Alright guys, so this is the way we do it, right? So I get my stuff like this, put it into a big bucket, like this, and I put a little bit of cold water in it. And then we start adding it to the tanks, okay? One second. I'm going to try and capture as much of the tanks as I can. And uh, let's get the chair out of the way so I don't actually fall on it. And so this is the way I've done it. You guys have seen me do this way before. I have all my stuff in the bottom of this and I just go around cherry picking, putting bits into the tanks as we need them right hand. Yeah, the only way that, that is, the only thing I should say that's a little bit bad about doing it this way, sometimes I overcook it like I've done here. You can probably just see it no more. If you overcook it, it tends to fall apart a little bit. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're doing stuff to try and not Overcook it. Can you see over here? But you can't. Let me try and do this rack first. And you know if it's ready because it will sink. And I'm just going to simply go through my bucket here and pick out the appropriate size pieces for each tank. Because ideally, guys, you don't want to overfeed any food. Eh? You know, after all of our progress with feeding and learning the ways of a shrimp master. You don't want to suddenly start blasting your tank full of tons of food, right? So I'll get all this food in here and we'll come back in a second, right? Alright guys, I just learned something there when I was doing this that if you have the air supply turned off or if you have your filtration turned off, it basically if you have flow turned off in the tank and you add food, uh, the shrimp are very slow to come to because there's no current actually wafting all the scent or whatever else to them. Right, so I just switched on the filtration again. Now let's have a look at the tanks. I'm going to use the macro camera. And um, I think what we'll do guys as well is we'll talk about what I, what I plan to do next week while I do this as well. 
because um, some of these tanks, like these two here, are new tanks that you guys would have seen me set up before. We should be testing them for stuff because uh, we need to see if we need to do a water change in them, in them or not, right? Because let, let's see, for example, this fellow here, right, if the ammonia, I do believe this, I'm not 100% sure if this is 100% accurate or true, but I read somewhere that if your ammonia is above a certain level in a tank, the bacteria will just struggle, right? Because you want to get that ammonia down to a safer level for your cycle to start, because if it doesn't start, you're just wasting your time. So the other thing as well is, in some of the tanks, like this one over here, where it's the, uh, the Tropica, it will, be, it will be cycling because we added stuff in there. Whenever you add organics to a tank, it's going to start to cycle itself. But even just with the basic soil, because even the soil will start to go off and release stuff and whatever else, right? Not everything is just neutral, inert gravel and sand and things like that. So, we need to keep an eye on that as well. But in general, a tank like this will be uh, slower to start to produce its ammonia and um, in general kick on kick on to its cycle but it will be safer because there's not so much ammonia in the tank to begin with right so I prefer having my ammonia in the tank is something that we might actually do in future videos where we have tanks that have no ammonia in them we actually might start ammonia dosing just to see what it's like on the channel you know dosing every day we can measure every day see how much the tank is used and make sure the cycle is going because guys, the, the best tanks I've ever had have always been ones with high ammonia in it because you get the best filtration out of it in the engine, you get the best bacterial colonies and whatever else, right? So let's get on with this and we'll see how the shrimp are. Alright guys, let me just get a quick cup of, quick drink of this coffee because uh, yeah, when you talk for as long as I do about something, you know when you ramble a lot, your mouth tends to go a little bit dry, so... Hmm. Let's see, we're going to try this with the macro camera today and I've actually added a lens onto this. This is a lens I've had it for a long time. I think it's called a Renox and it basically doubles the magnification of the shrimp in the pictures. Right, So we should be able to get better footage from this. I've already looked, you, you can get better footage but let's actually try it today. Tell me guys in the comment section below what you actually think. Right, so let's start over here. We're just going to, guys, we're basically going to do uh, this half of the room today and that's it. So let's have a little look and see where we are, right? When you hear the noise, that is me actually starting the camera. So that is me starting the camera. Now let's uh, put it into the proper mode. Make sure it is focusing. See, there is the issue. I am actually, I can't focus. I can't there, let's see. Right guys, so you, you have to let me know in the comment section below, do you think this image is better or worse than before? It's an okay image, let's try and zoom in a little bit. There's a lot of baby shrimp in here now. Uh, it seems to be holding its uh, focus. The thing when you add lenses on, sometimes they don't hold the focus, right? So let's zoom in a little bit more. And that's, this is just okay. But remember, this is in a tank where the shrimplet are a good, what, 15, 20 centimeters away. And this type of camera is actually better being used on um, animals that are close to the glass. So let's try the next tank. This tank is doing great. Let me, guys, let me just quickly show you the, the moss because the moss is just going berserk in this tank. It seems to be that since we've raised the lights and we've increased the flow that we are getting bazillions of moss growth. You know, and I'm doing this and my battery's flashing on this already. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so we might have to make this a quick ending. Right, I'm going to pick the tanks that are doing really good just to see if we can get some better footage for you. Yeah, see, this won't focus at all with this lens on at this level. Let's try. Oh, it's actually focusing with a different mode that's a little bit clearer. Let's see what this looks like. Well, you focus. Well, you focus. Yeah, I mean, that is far away and it's still. 
still kind of, yeah, still in focus. They've kind of hidden themselves a little bit. Guys, I'm so sorry about the today with this this thing. This battery is literally going to run out in like five seconds. So we'll go until this battery runs out. And we'll see, right? So these guys are totally balled up on this. Let me see. Oh my god. You guys are gonna love this. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? These guys love spinach. Sorry about being a little bit shaky today in my arms because you could probably see it in there. This would make an awesome thumbnail, won't it? So I don't want to stay on stuff for too long or we're going to run out of power. Yeah, the tanks are coming along really, really nicely. Look at these guys. Oh, they're so nice. We're doing such a good job, aren't we, shrimp farm? Yes, I'm just going to look at the ones where the shrimp are mostly on the food. Because we don't have time for them to get on the food. Oh, that is so blurry. You see what I mean? The, the closest shrimp is in focus. These are guys are very active though. I'm going to show you the tank next to it because these guys are the same. I love these ones. I don't know what Raymond calls these. But I would like to think he would call something, call them something like, uh, I don't know, garlic, I don't know, some some type, some kind of tiger. I think the head part looks like it's some type of tiger. I don't mean in the body, guys. Sorry for rushing you today. Still no babies in here. As far as I can see, the, the girls are still buried, so... The girls are still buried. Let's see, can we actually focus on these little berries? You see what I mean? This camera is slightly better for macro stuff, you see it? But you put on that lens, and yeah, guys, you won't believe it, but there's somehow there is a tiger in this tank, fancy tiger. I can't explain it. Fancy. Crystal black, where did you go? Let me see if I can focus on them. You see it? Somehow that shrimp has gotten into this tank. That's bizarre. Let me see. This is me. <laughs> this is me completely zoomed out. The camera's a little bit slow to focus. But it is what it is. It's a good enough image. Yeah, I wonder how that shrimp got in there. I wonder if it has actually climbed up the the moss on one side and climbed over the other side. Yeah, so this is a great tank for our uh, fancy black fancy tigers. You know, one day, one day I'll eventually get the name right on these guys. And these cool. Looks so awesome. Let me zoom in on these. Yeah, that's what we'll do next week as well, because these are actually adult size now, some of them. And I think we need to move these adults that are good, like the ones like this there, back into the breeding tank above. Guys, let me just quickly check the other tanks and see if there's anything else I can show you. Let's have a little look at the I was going to show you the fish, but they've taken the food away on one side here. Yeah. Let's have a little look here. Yeah, so this camera definitely, this lens definitely allows me to zoom in closer. The, the picture quality is, looks better to me. But it comes at the cost of being out of focus slightly in some shots. Like, I don't know if that will focus there, will it? See what I mean? Let's say change mode. I'll, I'll go to a different mode and see if that's what this is. So the, the lens is basically just good for close up. Oh yes, look at that. So this is a mode that I was never able to film in before. It's basically the scenic mode. 
and this is a good 10 15 centimeters away from the camera let's see oh that's so nice and so this is very very useful guys it's very very useful let me see is there anything else I can show you I'm away down here my knees under here <laughs> Opa you're going berserk and so I can't seem to focus on these guys I can I can just let's get a little bit of footage of these guys for the end you see that the food has fallen down in the middle away over there so the shrimp room is becoming on it's coming on really really nicely guys let me let's uh, sit down here all right guys uh, i do apologize for that rubbishy kind of camera work at the end I, I i should learn to check my cameras before you know i've been doing this for what like eight years or something and i still have issues with power packs and stuff on my cameras but yeah you can see guys more shrimp please more more shrimp what we're doing in shrimp fruit works if you like what you see then please do subscribe and guys have an awesome rest of the weekend uh, maybe watch another video here it will be something that youtube suggests for you from my channel happy shrimp keeping bye